What's up, chickies? It's Baron here. Today, we're going to be doing a video on the Merch Man. If you don't watch this video all the way through, then you don't support the channel and you are a doo doo head. Not really, I'm just joking. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the Merchant Man and the current, like, the, the last price hikes of that ship and pretty much where it could fall this sale. I'm thinking, like, there's going to be another price hike. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. Join our Discord and join our org. We have an org. The link is in the description. Please join it. It would be great. You can be an associate or an affiliate. Do whatever you like, but it's down in the description. So join that if you're new as well. So talking about the Merchant Man and the price hikes that we've seen in the past, and just the general sales on that ship and we know that it's in current development right now active development they're working on it greatly they're working on like massive parts of that ship they're adding to it they're just trying to make that the best ship that it can be once it's out which is going to be fantastic and I think we can all relate when we say we can't wait till that ship actually hits the verse now knowing that that ship is going to be coming out with pyro it may be delayed the whole thing might come out next year uh, before someone corrects me yes it is coming out next year let me know in the comments what you think about all of that so we're going to be talking about like how we think this is going to go up in price where we think it's going to land with its price range let me know down in the comments what you think because this is very interesting to me i'm thinking that you know this sale it could go up to anywhere from 50 to 100 dollars and i'm not trying to exaggerate but i'm just trying to go off the basis that you know the ship has been going up in price without any sort of information on active development as we had known at the time and i think at this given like point in time it could actually go up in price again a little bit more because it seems when a ship is in active development it seems to go up a little bit more than what it used to so we know it's been going up by $50 increments I got it at $450 it's now at what $650 no $550 sorry so it's gone up a little bit since that time but we want to just concentrate on we know it's gone up by $50 is it going to go up another 50 this sale? We know it's coming up to Alien Week. So could it go up by like 50 to to $100, which could be a massive hike. It's For some people, this ship is going to be this ship that they run all the time. You have to think about what this ship can do, what it's going to do, what its capabilities are, and how the Banu use this ship for pretty much everything. So going off of that, and that it's in active development, like I said, but it's not scheduled till for 2022 three like quarter one the whole pyro things coming out then um i'm thinking that it could just be another hundred it could be another fifty dollars this sale but it could be anywhere between 50 to 75 so i'm gonna i'm gonna land in the middle i'm gonna say it's gonna be 75 this sale and when we get to next iae alien week it could possibly go up another hundred dollars and when it comes out it could go up another fifty dollars hundred dollars i'm not trying to set expectations i'm just making an assumption on what information we've known in the past of this ship to go up in price and how the market for it has gone up eventually over a course of years and time but remember this started at 250 like when the carrick started at its original price of like 250 300 this ship could just set a new precedent and go up to a massive like all-time high and then possibly become hull limited but then again it might not be hull limited because there's just so freaking many of them it's insane how many there's going to be of these things like nearly every fleet i've seen has one of these and the capabilities of the negotiation room the brig um the shops everything that you will see in this ship is going to blow your mind so Given that this ship is going to be an all-time expectation, the quality of it is going to be amazing. I think it's going to set a whole new precedent for ships and their qualities and how they go through their processes within Star Citizen and the development process. Pretty much how we're going to be, you know, ships are going to go gold standard. And I expect that the Banu Merchantment will come out as a gold standard. Pretty much it's not going to have to go through any work. Hopefully it has its full functionality when it comes out. So we also know that ships, when they don't have their full functionality, will be set at a certain price so what would that mean for the carrot could the carrot go up again once it has its full functionality or is it just at that set price that we know what it's capable of but again we don't know what it's really capable of because we don't know everything in the background of the the modules and the repair station in that ship there's just so many different aspects and that's what you need to look at with the merchant man it's just got so many different things going on it we've hypothesized with theory craft we've done so many different things on the ship and we thought up so many different sort of tasks and what we can do with this ship what it might be able to do but again at the end of the day we don't really know what this thing is capable of what it's going to involve now the cartography ball in it i don't know if the size of that thing really matters as the case of 
its navigation in the sense of speaking within the game. But again, I think it's going to set a whole new precedent for ships. So I, I know I keep repeating myself, but where do you think it's going to land in the pricing? Because I think this thing could go from anywhere up from at $800 plus like this thing can set a whole new record for ship prices and where it can go now the merchant man as well given that you know you have an alien tax the merchant man is fairly well priced and a lot of people are going to come here and they're going to think well you know you're saying that this is fairly well priced for a ship that is in a game that is ridiculous and i tend to agree with you but again you have to think about it. people spend that much money on this game i know a lot of people with legatus congratulations to lee for hitting 25,000 and getting his gold and black 600 i hats down to you i'm glad and so happy <laughs> for you i know it's a lot of money but I'm, I'm glad that you've gotten to that point now where you can sort of just settle down with sales and you're happy where you are. So hats down to Lee. <laughs> but again, where will the merchant man lay? Where will everyone see it in the verse? Is it going to be so common that the price won't hike? But again, we know that the price may hike again this sale, which is going to be very interesting because it's something that I'm going to keep a close eye on. I'm going to keep like closely covering it. And depending on how much it goes up this sale, it's going to just... I'm going to cover the crap out of this thing and see, you know, we're going to try and have to build some sort of community sense and to see where this ship will land in pricing because it's just insane how much this thing has gone up in the last two years in the sales that we've had just knowing that this ship is going to be a massive seller within the community. So let me know down in the comments what you think. It's been Baron. I'll see you in the verse.